Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Getman. I'm the founder of SWE. We make healthy foods taste delicious. America has an unhealthy relationship with food. While 63% of Americans think that they eat healthy most or all the time, actually 86% give in to over half of their cravings for indulgent foods. This is the Miracle Berry. It's been used for centuries by the tribes people of Western Africa to make their foods taste delicious. It contains a protein which temporarily binds to your taste buds, making sour foods taste sweet, but also removing bitterness and other unpleasant flavors. Sweet is the first ever convenient miracle fruit product. By removing bitterness and tartness, it unmasks the natural flavors and foods that you previously couldn't notice. It does this without adding any aftertaste, unlike stevia, monk fruit, or aspartame. And it enables Americans to enjoy healthy foods that they would otherwise hate and satisfy their cravings without the guilt. For instance, it makes a Greek yogurt taste like ice cream, lemons like lemonade, and even the blandest strawberries will explode with new flavor. In 2020, 43% of Americans went on a diet, spending $72 billion. Most diets don't stick because they suck. SWE gives, uh, revolutionizes this market by giving people an option that they can actually look forward to. That's just the tip of the iceberg. We're also getting pulled into several different medical use cases. In recent news, Miracle Fruit has been shown to help COVID-19 patients with their loss of taste. We're currently raising a round and we'd greatly appreciate introductions to any businesses in the food space or even tech companies that would like to stock SWE in their cafeterias. If you'd like to try it out for yourself, go to SWE.co and use code LIVESTREAM for 10% off. Thank you very much. And I know this sounds kind of crazy, so to prove that this actually works, let's do a live demo. So Avichal, I'd like you to um, just start off with uh, a baseline. I want you to bite into a lime. Okay, got a lime. So that everyone knows there's no trickery here. Ugh. Let's see if we can change that face. So now I'd like you to take a packet of sweet, give it a few flicks just to let the powder settle, then uh, tear it open and sprinkle it onto your tongue. So sweet is freeze-dried miracle fruit powder. It comes from this berry. And something interesting you'll notice is that it has an the product has an effervescent effect. That is not the miracle fruit. That is something I've added. Um, but it's, I, it's something I added to improve the user experience and make it a more intuitive process. So Vichal, when it stops popping, that's your signal to uh, go ahead and bite into the, the lime again. Gotcha. So I, just, I just hold it on my tongue until it stops burning? Uh, until it stops popping, that's correct. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Good to go. Yeah, go ahead and yep. bite into the lime again. Whoa. Holy crap. What does like uh, can, candy. You, can you explain to the um to the audience what it tastes like? Yeah, it tastes like eating a lemon drop. It tastes like eating candy. Holy yeah. crap. Um, wow. Audible cues are very important to um, give users the feedback that they've done something correct. So think about the click of a seatbelt or the pop of a Snapple. So I really wanted to add um, that audible cue to Miracle Fruit to you know add some magic to the magical fruit but also make it kind of foolproof. I grabbed some other stuff too. So you told me to get maybe some yogurt and it, it literally tastes like ice cream. This is crazy. Thank you. Oh my God. I also got, um, I got some sauerkraut. I tried to brainstorm things that are sour and I thought of sauerkraut. And here's the really cool thing. So this lasts 30 minutes to an hour. So even after uh, you've interviewed the other two live streamers, you can go ahead and uh, take some bourbon and it won't burn. Wow. That's crazy. That's so cool. How are you thinking about actually having this be like a brand that you go direct to consumers versus um, like an additive for companies to use in, in their products? Yeah. So right now our focus is on, is on direct to consumer as you, as you said, uh, but we do see um, a potential for going B2B, whether that is with consumer brands. So coffee companies, fruit juices, various um, sweets, but uh, we could also partner with even pharmaceuticals to make great tasting medications. So which of those, which of those use cases do you think you prioritize? Like I could, I could imagine this being great for like weight loss or something. You're just like, Absolutely. you don't have to do anything. Yeah. So our focus right now is on that weight loss angle by helping people eat healthy foods that they otherwise wouldn't and also satisfy their sugar cravings so that instead of reaching for ice cream, they could get some Greek yogurt and said they are putting themselves at a caloric deficit without really having to struggle with, with, with those cravings. And so by doing that, they can lose weight. That's the only scientifically proven, proven way to lose weight. 
with a caloric deficit. And, and so when, you, when you're prioritizing, do you think you end up with like just your own brand that you try to take this to market, almost like a Stevia or one of these like sweeteners and you, you end up with like literally packets that you can sell? Absolutely. We hope we can be the uh, next Splendor and the next Stevia that's completely natural without an aftertaste. Yeah, it's a beautiful note to end on, a sweet note to end on, I should say. Um, uh, thank you so much for, um, great, yeah, I mean, eventually really turning into an Instagram influencer here. Appreciate that.